Hello all, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your own digital clock using the Atmega 16 microcontroller and the DS3231 RTC module. So as you can see here, the whole project is divided into two modules. One is the controller module and other is the display module. Each has its own PCB and they both are connected to the connecting wires over here. This is the controller module which has the Atmega 16 microcontroller and SMD version of the DS3231 and the lithium cell. It also has few push buttons to set the timing which I'll show you later in the video. Over the display modules, we have five individual modules. Each module has two seven segment displays. All these modules are identical but their function varies based on the program that we are going to implement on the controller. In this video, I'll show you the circuit diagram and how we fabricated the PCB for the complete project. So this is the circuit diagram of the controller module. As you can see here, in the middle over here, we have the Atmega 16 microcontroller and the DS3231 SMD version over here. And we also have few push buttons over here, which we can use to set the current time using these push buttons. I will explain the complete working in the end of this video. We also have a voltage regulator, which can take in variable voltage from 7 volts to 20 volts and convert it to 5 volts through which the microcontroller and the module is powered. The voltage regulator is 7 and 0, 5. And we have another circuit diagram for the display section, which I will show you now. So this is the circuit diagram of the display module. We have five display modules, as I told earlier, and each display module is identical. And that is, it uses the same PCB. So the first module over here can be used to show the hover. And it also has two LEDs, which will blink for every second incremented. And this can be used for date, and this is for month, and this is for year. So if you go to the circuit diagram side, you can see that the circuit diagram, let me show you the circuit diagram, give me a second. Uh, okay, over here. So yes, on the circuit diagram, we have two seven segment displays and uh, two LEDs as you saw earlier on the board. And it also has few connectors using which you can connect this display module to the controller module. So once you have the circuit diagram, you have to convert it to a PCB layout. You can use any PCB designing software. If you're not comfortable with the PCB designing software, you can always use the Gerber file, which will be also linked at the description of this video. Now, uh, just use any PCB fabrication software and you will get a layout like this. So this is what I got. So this is the top layer of the controller module that you just saw earlier. And uh, let me show you the bottom layer also for the controller module. So this is the bottom layer of the controller module. And similarly for the display module, this is the top layer. And for the display module, we also have the bottom layer as well. I'll show you that. Yeah, this is the bottom. So from here, you can convert this PCB layout into a Gerber file. Obviously, all PCB designing software will have an option to generate Gerber file. And then you can use this Gerber file to with your PCB fabricator to get your PCB stand. This complete project was sponsored by PCBGoGo.com, who provides highly professional PCBs for cheap prices. And they even ship these PCBs directly to your home. So now let's get into their website, PCBGoGo.com, and have a look on what they're doing. So this is their website and few things you should know about PCBGoGo.com is that they offer highly professional PCB prototype, PCB assembly and PCB layout services, highly specialized in quick turn PCB prototype, low and medium volume. And they are the China's leading quality PCB assembly service providers. So that's it. These guys are really awesome and I have been using their services for quite a long time. Now I will show you how you can use their website to convert your Gerber files into the actual PCBs that I just showed you. So for an example, let's assume you have a PCB whose layout is 80 cross 80 and you want to get fabricate and you want these guys to fabricate it for you. So just go here and enter the dimensions, which is 80 for 80. Let's assume it, but yours might differ. And uh, let's say we just need five quantities for now. And it's a double layer PCB with a thickness of 1.6 mm. Then you can just go go and proceed with code now. But before that, make sure you have logged in. I have already logged in, but make sure you can you have signed up or logged in or whatever. And then with that, you can go ahead and click on code now. It will take you to the next page where you can enter a few other parameters like the quantity which you already entered, but you can also select the material, the color, the thickness of the PCB and stuff like that. I will leave these for default for now as I always do. Uh, another part where you have to concentrate is the 
on the right hand side you can see that uh, where it is getting shipped and through what means say for example you're shipping to united states of america you also have an option to ship it through china post which is the cheapest of all and here you can see the lead time which is two to three days and you will be charged about 13 dollars altogether so before even you place an order you get to know how much you would actually pay for your order which is really cool so once that is done you have to click on add to basket and here you will have an option to add your gerber file which we just converted so my gerber file is on the desktop let me add it click on add gerber file and it will be most probably in a zip file like here and click on submit it so once these Gerber file gets uploaded, what happens is these people verify these Gerber file and make sure that it can be converted, that it can be fabricated into a PCB. So they take some time, normally about two to, two to three hours to verify your Gerber file. And once that is done, you can proceed with your order and click on proceed to checkout. So once it is done, they will take about five to six days to fabricate your PCB and they will ship it directly to your house. So I have already ordered the PCB, so let's wait for it to, to be delivered to my doorstep. Okay, now it's almost been a week and I got this package yesterday delivered by my courier guy. It's obviously from PCB GoGo, -Go. so let's go ahead and open it with this knife. Um, so be careful, don't just scratch yourself with a knife and uh, we can just open it on the top. As you can see, it has been shipped from China directly and uh, let me go ahead and open this and that's it we have our pcbs in here as you can see all the pcbs are neatly bubble wrapped there's no way that they got damaged during the shipment each pcb has its own bubble wrap on top of it and some extra bubble wrapping as well as you can see here and this is for another project so stay tuned i'll tell you what it is for but this is the control module and sorry for the bad angle i didn't realize that i was having a bad angle at that time but uh, as you can see the pcb is neatly wrapped with the bubble wrap and everything looks good so let's open this and uh, see how the pcbs are inside Here you go we ordered five units of each pcb and uh, let's check how many units we have received it has a rubber band on top of it let's remove that so it's one two three four five yes we have received five pcbs and all the five pcbs really look good be it the silk screen or the holes or the cap between the wire and the track everything looks good so it's really going to be easy assembling components on top of this and it looks really professional and we have five pcbs over here as you can see the holes are perfect i'm again sorry for the bad camera angle but let's go ahead and assemble the components on top of that but before that let's also check the display modules so we also have another five five pcbs for the display modules let's open it it also has a neat bubble wrap and we should have received five units of this as well so let's check that so it's one two three four five so five units of display modules as well and they also have good sill screen and neat holes drilled into them and we will use one for the ha one for the minute one for the date one for the month and one for the year so that's it let's go ahead and assemble it so here is the assembled version of the complete project so i have connected everything and I'm, i will also power this and explain the complete working but before that here we have the push buttons and the controller which was the atmega 16 itself and uh, we have the push buttons to set the time and the smd version of the es3231 is over here and we also have a lithium cell which actually keeps track of the time even when the total power is removed so here we have the voltage regulator which is powered by an adapter for this let me show you the complete circuit give me a second okay so here we go again so here we have the barrel jack which will receive 12 volts dc and convert it to 5 volts using the 7805 voltage regulator and then supply it to the controller part as well as to the display part okay now let's power the circuit 
and here we go all the displays have lighted up and the LED is playing for every second showing that the module is currently active so now what we can do is we can just check that it is the 5 represents the hours the 25 represents the minutes 0 1 represents the day and 0 3 represents the month and 19 represents 2019 which is the year so let's set the correct time 525 is not the correct time so click this button and now the 05 starts blinking and the leds have also stopped blinking so now it is in setting mode and it is not in the timing mode now it is in the setting mode now we can increment or decrement it using these two push buttons so it's 05 now let's increment it to say let's increment it to so it's railway timing obviously so we let's increment it all the way up to five again and then we can also change it from hours to minutes by using this button as you can see now the five is set how minutes 25 is blinking now again the same thing you can either increment it or decrement it but let's leave it as 27 for now and then again you can also set the date similarly using this button uh, and again you can also set the month using this button so it's just to move from one display unit to another display unit and set it respectively so that's it so you can set whatever time and date you require according to your place and then as you can see these leds are still not blinking meaning that we are still in the setting mode so you have to exit the setting mode for the timing to continue so to exit the setting mode you can press this button again and here you go the leds have started blinking indicating that the module is currently active and the time will also get incremented so that's it guys hope you like the project the complete details can be found at the link given in the description of this video with the code and everything thanks for watching